you're looking to start your career in computer networking, but you're not so sure where to begin. You probably have considered CompTIA Network Plus, but you're not so sure if it's the right course for you and is it even worth it in 2020? In this video, I'll be breaking down this course in terms of course content, job market, and value for money to help you make that decision. So be sure to stick around until the end. Welcome back to this channel. My name is Tanay. My goal for this channel is to be a resource for those that are starting their journey in the network industry through tutorials, course reviews, tips and guides just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Let's begin. So many of you who are interested in getting into the network industry have probably considered Network Plus and you want to know what content is covered in this course. Network Plus covers configuring, managing and troubleshooting of networks. You look at the history of networking all the way to configuring network devices such as switches and routers. As shown on the screen, the syllabus covers a lot of content, but I'm just going to focus on the following to basically give you a highlight of the content that is covered in this particular course. Network concepts. This is where you're going to be introduced to how networks work. You look at the differences between local area networks and wide area networks. You look at the famous OSI model, understanding the different layers and how they affect the flow of traffic. You look at layers, you look at layers such as the transport, network and data links and the protocol that operate in these respective layers such as TCP, UDP and DNS. You then go ahead to cover network security. This section will look at the different devices that are used to secure your network. I'm sure most of us have probably heard about the Great Firewall of China, the one device that blocks internet access for an entire country. In this course, you look at firewalls, learning to understand how firewalls work and how they filter traffic. The course goes ahead to look at some of the most common attacks that you're likely going to find in a network environment, such as distributed denial of service, uh, men in the middle attacks and you also look at SQL injections. You also learn about the mitigation strategies that you can implement in order to protect your network from such attacks. So there is a lot to cover in this course. Network troubleshooting and tools. This is probably one of my favorite topics in this course because you get to troubleshoot networks and I personally love troubleshooting. The core focus of this module is to teach you the different tools and how they can help you. Some of the most common tools include ICMP echo requests and echo replies, which help you test connectivity on your network. You have trace route, which helps to show you the route that the packets took through your IP network. All these tools are at your disposal to help make your job much more simpler. And the last on the course content is network operations. If there's one topic that you need to master, this is it. Because a significant portion of your job is going to revolve around this. This section was recently added onto the curricula and I applaud CompTIA for that. In the past, network engineers and administrators were not so concerned about documentation. We would change and configure devices and not document, which created problems in the future. Can you imagine trying to trace a cable in such a mess? In this section, you will cover wiring schedules, how to create and read network diagrams, config management, network monitoring. And for me, this section is a game changer. From a content perspective, Network Plus is a solid certification. It covers the A to Z of networking, but can this get your job? This leads us onto the next section. If you're getting value from this video, please let me know by hitting the like button below. Let's continue. Job market. According to CompTIA, these are the jobs that use Network Plus. And for me, this is where the challenge begins. Disclaimer. In this video, we are assessing your potential to get a job based on Network Plus only 
excluding past experience or other certifications. So let us look at the jobs listed by CompTIA. So the first three jobs are junior network administrator, network technician, or network analyst. So these three roles are a small subset of the networking roles available on the market, meaning they are very rare and they are found in very few organizations, mainly internet service providers who are looking for network technicians that can only focus on networking. As you can see, there are so many jobs looking for network technicians. But when you go deeper, you'll realize that majority require skills that are not covered in your Network Plus course. And this creates a challenge because then you need to go and get further certifications in order for you to get a network technician role. Computer or help desk technician. Yes, you are going to use the knowledge that you acquired in your Network Plus in this role. However, a significant portion of the role is going to require knowledge on PC maintenance and hardware, which is not covered in the course. So you realize that you're not likely going to need your knowledge from Network Plus in order to succeed as a computer technician or help desk, unless if the, the role gravitates or focuses more on the networking side. And the last one, systems or network engineer. Now you'll be one in a million if you got any of these positions based on the knowledge from your Network Plus alone. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I'm just saying that it's not the norm for someone to come from Network Plus to being a network engineer. So this is why breaking the job market with this certification is a bit tricky. This has nothing to do with the course content or the certification. It has everything to do with the market. Now, networking roles are considered specialized roles where you're required to have depth in a specific area. And unfortunately, Network Plus as a course is pretty broad and covers a lot of content but does not go deep. For me, Network Plus is a transitory certification that needs to be taken when you have other certifications such as A Plus or you have experience working in service desk as a technician. If you take this certification without any other experience, you're probably going to find it a bit challenging when it comes to getting a job. Question of the day, what certification are you working on? Please share in the comments below. So who is this course for? CompTIA recommends that you have at least A plus or nine months experience working with networks. This is not to say that you cannot do this course without the above, but to get better value of the course, it will be simpler if you have past experience. If you don't have a degree and you're starting your IT career, then I would say this is a certification for you. It will get you a foot inside the door, but you're going to need more than the knowledge from this course in order for you to succeed. I would recommend anyone working as a computer technician who has an interest in security, networks, or systems administration to do this course. I did not say write the exam, but try and acquire the knowledge from the course. Network Plus is very helpful to start you in your IT career. But if you want to advance to more intermediate and advanced level certifications, then CCNA and CCNP will be best for you. Now to the part that most of you have been waiting for, value for money. Definitely, this is not the red pill that opens the door to all knowledge, but it is a step in the right direction. The course will open doors for you, but how far it will take you will depend on other certifications that you have. I personally feel that the $329 for the exam fees is a bit steep for a course that you cannot immediately walk into a job. I'm sure many of you are looking for an immediate return of investment. So for those on a tight budget, I would say go and buy the textbook and go for the knowledge covered in this course. If you're working on service desk and you're looking for progression, I would definitely say this is the course for you. Check out our video on CompTIA A+, where I break down the course on course content, job market, and value for money for the certification. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.